we'll look now at the thoracic cavity of the rat, which contains the heart and lungs. In order to expose the thoracic cavity, I have taken my scissors and cut up along the rib cage, right in between the ribs, and then used my scalpel to separate the diaphragm, which separates the thoracic from the abdominal cavity. I've pinned this down to hold it open, and now that that is finished, we can see the heart and the lungs. The heart is surrounded by a uh, covering called the pericardial sac, which you are welcome to remove. And before removing the heart, I recommend that you look at the different angles to see the uh, locations of the different veins and arteries extending out from the heart. On top of the heart, you will find a very large artery. It will be red in color. It will be difficult to see on the video here. But at the top of the heart is the aorta, which um, receives blood back from the lungs, as well as distributing it to the rest of the body. The veins are a little more easy to see and tend to be a little bit larger. And there are several of them that you can identify. Extending down from the heart is the vena cava. The vena cava extends from the heart through the diaphragm, through the liver, down along the back of the rat. Um, and we looked at that briefly when we did the excretory system. Uh, you can see that uh, right here is the vena cava. And the vena cava splits off to the kidneys. This would be the renal vein, which we cut to remove the kidney on the other side. So this is, uh, continues down to be the vena cava all through the back. And then it splits to both legs. And if I flip one of the legs over here, um, the vena cava splits to become the femoral artery, among other things, uh, in the leg. You can see that right here. Extending up from the heart, the vein uh, becomes the ex uh, external jugulars, which are one of the primary ways of uh, moving blood from the brain back to the heart for oxygenation. You have one here and then one on the other side. The veins also extend to the arms in the um, axillary arteries, which extend all the way down to the hands. All of these veins have different names depending on the region that they're located. I'm giving you the most common names, but um, keep in mind that they do change depending on where in the arm or where in the leg they happen to be located. The artery, um, we've identified the aorta right here, which is the primary artery. That also extends down from the heart, through the diaphragm, through the liver, into the back of the rat, runs right along the spinal cord. Um, the arteries are a lot uh, smaller than the veins, a little bit more difficult to find, but you can see um, uh, the descending aorta right down here. It also goes to the kidney and that would be the renal artery and um, then that artery splits at the legs to become the femoral artery. So those are the primary veins and arteries. There are many more and um, you can hunt them down. Um, it's, it's fairly challenging task. It's kind of like a treasure hunt to locate them, but it um, gives you a good idea of how the circulatory system works. So just to recap one more time, we have the heart, lungs surrounding it. On top of the heart, we have the vena cava and the aorta, which extend up. Uh, the vena cava turns into the jugulars and also into the inferior vena cava down here, which extends to the kidneys and the renal vein. The aorta um, descends as well, connects to the kidneys and the renal artery, and then both the aorta 
and the vena cava split at the legs to form the femoral vein and artery, which provides the legs with necessary blood supply.